Hello everybody and welcome back to Bell's channel and today we are going to be going to Amber Heights. Um, this is a part of a few quests, the Radio Free Monarch, where we need to convince um, the Iconot, Iconoclasts, I, I don't know, um, basically Graham Bryant, the leader of them people, um, to stop, you know, the whole like sending messages and clogging up all the airways so we can get the information we need from um god what's his name harim haram i can't remember his name <laughs> anyway so we can get this information on the chemicals phineas needs we will also be doing the uh a family matter locate tucker needham in amber heights um, he ran away from his mum, and we'll also be doing. I oh, know, no, no, sorry. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're just going to be doing them two quests. We're bound to experience more quests as we enter this area, um, but we won't be doing them until. Not the next video, the video after, because the next video after this one, we will be going to Fallbrook, where we've got um, the companion quest, the Empty Man. Uh, we've got. Uh, this one, Errors Unseen, uh, we've got also this, the Space Crime Continuum, and I think that one, yeah, that was that for them. So quite a few on the next video, uh, but here we go, so let's pop up, well actually I can just fast travel, because we passed it, so I'm just going to fast travel to there. Um, I do have Nico, Nayo, no, Na Nayoka with us, and Vic and Matt purely because for the next video what we're doing so let's go Sir! Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Good luck in all that you do. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. 
treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Damn philosophists. Zorus and beyond. Next. Ain't seen you before. You from one of the outer steads or what? Eh? One of them inners from T2? Welcome to the little piece of hell we reign over. I'll give you two bits worth of free advice. One, don't let the dust get in nothing private. It's like 10% spores by volume. You'll be yanking out fungus by the handful. Two, you can't actually keep the dust out. Always carry antifungals. Sprays work okay, creams are better. You got nothing else? Vodka. In charge? <laughs> We're iconoclasts. Every soul a sovereign power. We do for each other on account of it needing to be done. Not because some fancy pants manager said to. Now you want to rephrase that question, maybe ask who's respected hereabouts, I can give you a sensible answer. Ah, none taken. You're new here. Just trying to set you up with the lay of the land is all. The two names every iconoclast esteems would be Mr. Graham and Ms. Zora. They ain't leaders, and don't you insult them by calling them such. They're more like everyone's grandparents. They've been around, they know shit. You got a problem? Best bet's to ask them. When the monarchists wanted to settle down and play nice with the board, Graham was the one that took a stand. He's the reason we're here, breathing free air. Zora's our best sawbones. Nearly every soul here owes her their life. She's got funny ways, but they work. Welcome to Monarch. The animals think you're tasty, the fungus thinks your lungs are a great place to plant spores. If that ain't enough, look at the sky. Olympus yanks this moon about like a drunk dancer. Storms to curl your hair and quakes to rattle your brain pan. to see you again damn right ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me except being locked up well on the way back I twisted something in my leg foot area where does my foot end and my leg begin wherever that is it hurts so no runs for me for a little while time to kick back and relax I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get away from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up back good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. There's your iconoclast theory of chaos in action. Mister, I don't know what chaos is, but rocks ain't got theories. They're rocks. That's funny, what she just said. <laughs> Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Huh? Why? Oh, ha. 
You're funny. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, as many people as I can. Took a need him. Looks Tuka. like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? I'm Captain Bell. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Took it, your Agnes's little boy from Cellar Bay. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me. I'd hope she'd accept my decision. You're in danger. Ask me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. My God. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Reading ways for carriage needs face, I'm sure you agree. I'm getting that whatever you back right now. I think I might wait. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. I know it sounds extreme, but I can't go back. I just can't. This is the only way I can think of to be free. I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? Oh, right. Uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. Oh, I don't want to do that. Well met, Captain. What do you need? Oh, well, I suppose we have to. She's a bit overbearing. Never seen you before. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Sit at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Heartbreak? What happened to you? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. The mercenaries. What they do? Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. Thereabouts. I'll be glad for it. I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure.
Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking the outpost on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. That'd be a good place to start. Oh my god, we passed there. The door. Oh my god, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? I can't I can remember passing it. It was like somewhere up here. Somewhere around there. Anyway. Is that it? Let's check upstairs. Ooh. Let's save. Just in case. You know what it's like. Let's go this way. I like that. That was cool. <clears throat> you would have thought somebody would have cleaned them up. Ezekiel Mantine first, Ronnie fractured ankle, Ivers multiple bullet wounds, Milson acid burns, and that person's dead. Save again. I know, I know, I know. But I need mag picks. I just found out you can buy them from the vending machines. Hey, not so fast. What do you think you're doing? All right, get out of here. <laughs> That's never happened before. But I did decrease my reputation, unfortunately. And there it is. They're primary. They're like bumps and. <laughs> Alright, which quest am I doing? I don't even know. So, <clears throat> we're mainly just doing this one. Oh, there it is. That's where it is. I won't design this. Episode. I need to return that to Stella Bay. A manticore. Yeah, we felled it, mine. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoblast. That's like a sales pitch. 
So I expect you might also incident to others. Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. They can't be everywhere at once. Surely there are radios that still catch our message here and there. Surely. You are quite assured in the idea that any who hear your message will not immediately change stations upon realizing what utter rubbish it is. Sure, anything in the first place. Yeah, I don't think people care. Oh, that's a bit mean. Look, I don't really care how effective it is. Science, they have you're only transmitting on a singular radio, single radio frequency, and few people can receive Great. it. We should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Ooh, black. Maybe black now is the name. time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must How be fake. you were a captain? I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. They obsess over toss ball and fashion, and the board uses these obsessions to control them. Even I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard for grammatic. My literary prowess will hook them, and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> What's it? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Where is this she fire? meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. MSI. One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Oh. I helped to get out of it. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so tone-deaf. Mm. All right, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Optional, get high pass cartridges or extra supplies for, from Carlotta. Carlotta. Where is she? She's like right up the road. Alright, so I'll just... I'll fast travel to the crossroads and then we can walk up there easier. It's just quicker than walking all the way out. This way. Hi, 
I don't know whether I trust that dude. He seems a bit focused, you know, just on his campaign. He's like, to me, he's almost as bad as the board, you know, he's just on about becoming the new board, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? He just wants to get his word in there, like... The board's so focused on branding and jobs. He's like focused on being free, but I imagine that's still gonna have its problems. I don't know. I think like a mixture of their theirs works because people need jobs to work and get money, but then you should people should have freedoms. Here they come! Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a... Leaky generator, it ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. We're fixing a leaky gen. Right, Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. As soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Why are you after her? You have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. I need to get and I'm just gonna let you walk on in. I need to investigate. Put some mantis on this. Oh, of all the void, damn! I ain't getting Nina alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew. Sublight, fuck. So these guys are a part of sublight. <clears throat> sublight is that type of um. You know, they're, they're a bit, they're, they're like a thug, they're like thugs, literally, like, they're not even being gentle about it, they're full on, like, organised crime, <laughs> you know, t to everyone else, they appear real thinging, but to their contractors and people they work with, they're shady. I need to upgrade my skill, lock picking skill. Too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? <coughs> Relax, the sub. I'm Belgram sent to collect supplies. Oh, finally! Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Yes. So what's this? The commuter? Oh yeah, this is their thing. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Why did you turn you from working with him? You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Why are you helping me? It's Graham? an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. Law help them. 
I don't know. Me, I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send. What do you want delivered? Uh, we'll do that. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. Give them all my regards. So I can buy some stuff if I want. Or sell some stuff. I got a few bits that I actually don't want, so I'm going to just sell them really quickly. Ooh, 52 eight. There's some nice stuff in here. Defo, come here. You don't even have to do it. All you have to do is have like, what, 50 buy or something? And it works. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to go back to Graham. And deliver him his rollers, but not the data cartridge. Because I think most of these people actually need medicine more so than they need printing cartridges. Because it's probably not going to work. Folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Nice day, huh? I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important. Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. And like what you realize, the rest of the account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Uh, it sounds like you've got to stop selling goods. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanja, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. What? The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The written word can be quite effective, but losing your flock seems counterproductive. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can have. <clears throat> yes, this is why I don't like this guy. You could have sent them after backing. Yes, you're damn right he could have. 
but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I'll do everything I can. Oh, that dude's a dick. He is. He really, really is. He's like he's so interested in his own goals, much like the board that he's just killing off the people he have hit. He probably doesn't even care about them. I can tell you that straight up. He probably does not even care about them. All right. So pay for the printer. This quest is called. It's over there. So I'm gonna. To uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pop to Stella Bay. I don't know, uh, we'll pop to Stella Bay, and then we can just quickly give um, what's her name? I can't remember her name. Agnes. That's it. The news that her son's like thingy. I don't know whether we'll have enough time to do all of this mission in one go. It depends on how long it takes us to get through the actual building. I'll probably just focus on doing the mission. I won't really look around. I'll do that after if we have time or off screen. Um, unless I find something really important. <laughs> like an amazing gun. <laughs> but I doubt it. In a printing press place. There she is. Oh, you're back. Please tell me you found my baby boy. Where is he? Where's my little Tucker? What are you saying? That, that doesn't make any sense. Why would my little boy say that? You didn't want to come home today, it would be easier if you thought he was dead. Easier? Thinking my little boy was dead would be easier? On who? This doesn't sound like my Tucker at all. Wraith proof. This is his daddy's wraith. Tucker never takes it off, not even to bathe, and you're saying he gave this to you so I think he died? I need to think about this. I don't understand how it's all gone so... At least she knows he's not dead. I would prefer to... If I hear you say survival of the fittest one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Survival's about persistence and luck. So weapon proficiency and adaptive skill play no part whatsoever in your mind. If it does. All right. Now let's go out the door. I've gone and outlived the best hunters I ever knew. It is neither luck nor random chance. A manta pillar will become a manta whatever. So they're a, like a cross between a praying mantis and a caterpillar. Basically. Alright, we've got a bit of a journey. Try and be as fast as possible. Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. He did not need to say that, did he? We need to get across the bridge. Do we? Oh god, come on, no. Yes, we need to get across the bridge. Come on. 
Find its weakness, Cap. Everyone all right? Yep. Hey, it's the twins. Surprised you two needed backup. Mioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Graham actually sent me to secure the press. Zora sent me a look for you guys. Once you get out safety, I'll see about that press. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand, but we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Any ideas really? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. All right, I'll go out and see if I can find him. Oh, it's them too. And these two are protecting them. Cool. Alright, let's go. Okay. Optional retrieve Zora's team. Oh, I think my arm is gonna break. Go on, get me. Well done. We are victorious. Just there's a lot there. I'm surprised that dude's alive unless he messed to... Nope. Oh dude. That's So we'll give it back to them, then we'll pop into the printing press. Any luck out there? Find your trauma kit, medic is dead. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Alright. Let's go and repair the printing press. I would have thought he would have wanted to move it. Let's go.
death, our survival. Okay. Look at that one point. <laughs> I need to get all my weapons fixed and everything. I didn't think that was going to happen. Most of the sound. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Alright, our wooden parts. I'm really just skimming this super quickly because we haven't got long left in the video. So it's pretty simple, you just gotta kill a load of raptodons, really. A few of the colossus ones, so just, you know, be prepared because you will be doing it in close quarters. Um, just to warn you, if the video does cut off, um, I will obviously. Obviously, there will be an additional video just after this, and it'll be super short. Um, but yeah, I will I will make sure we don't miss anything. In the next video we will be going to Fallbrook and we're probably at the very start of it gonna be doing that Hunter's Quest. Um, you know, where he wanted the mementos from his place because he gave us the key, didn't he? Um which I did I did say in the previous video, like, I wonder where that Key, what that key's for, or where we get the key, and obviously now I found out why, so it might be worth stopping off and talking to him really quickly.
A vicar, huh? You a true believer, or do you just like the tides? Why, that's borderline offensive, Ms. Ramnarine Wentworth. Of course I believe. The tides are merely a... If you'll just listen... No! No more listening! No more preaching! We are losing people left and right! We need to act! Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? Uh, the pretty episode is. If there are gunships, they sure didn't stop me from landing here. What are you arguing about? We're out of time. We need food and ammunition. We need to hit Stellar Bay while we still have the manpower to do it. Are you really doing better than you are? Are they really doing Doubtful. better than you are? We don't need much, and Sanjar isn't going to share. You want to protect the yes, city? I know it's drastic, but it's clear that Sanjar will never cooperate. And if it's him or us, I choose us. Well, that seems desperate. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My people are dying left and right. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Yeah, they're on the way back. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. So that's We that. live in we such an exciting time. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic. So she wants a wall, and I would have that. I'm sorry, but I actually like Stella Bay. They're, you know, they follow the rules, but also let out their own freedoms, which is, you know, they're one of my favourite right now. And I'm not having these people take over that by a dude who doesn't know how to rule and a woman who's so quick for attack and desperate. But she's probably just going to cause hey. war later on. What? Sorry. Long day. So yeah, so thank you for, you know, dealing with all that. Uh, you were able to put a stop to the... Yes, I can't finish this quest until the next video where we, you know, help um, Sanjay um, rejoin the board. So join us in the next episode for the continuation of Mana, of Radio Free Mana. Thank you for watching. This is Belle, and goodbye.